Today's Saja meeting, we will look into a word, trip. It's inside, it's included in this volume 10, volume X here, part one. And the reason why I chose the word trip to look in for, besides the randomness, is because sometimes when you have a when you have a good time well i mean good or bad if you have some time that it's very filled with very very different events and activities experiences far from your ordinary life ordinary life you know like nothing the thing that would happen in daily life if you experience that kind of thing in particular time then you feel like you had a trip i mean not necessarily you have to go somewhere far from where you live but it's the experience the feeling the anomaly should i say uh difference exceptionness of the events and and the experiences and, and, and happenings that defines certain period of time or certain events or certain, I mean, particular or uh, particular um, period as trip, as a trip, right? So in my case, I always find something very different from Many different things like uh, watching people, watching happenings, watching nature, and it's so different time to time. So it feels like a, having a short trip. And when I have a longer, you know, when I have that kind of experiences and and feelings for a longer period of time, like a couple of days or or a whole day or something, then it most definitely feel like a like I had a um, trip. So let's look into word trip from volume 10. Thai. Mm. Thai tough? Tea tough? Oh, tea tough. Tobacco, yes. Toft. Tomasha. Tomahawk. Topi, trace, okay, TR, tragical, tragedy, yes, TR, tranquil, anybody need a tranquilizer, translucency, transmissive, trap, similar, traits, uh, travers, treacherousness, Tramilla, trick, tricky fee, trick, trip, three hundred and seventy one. Okay, from here. To here and oh all the way from here ends seems to ends here here hmm it's not that a short trip from here to here okay let's check trip the order of senses here is not chronological, but follows that of the verb. Okay, the first thing, the action or an act of tripping or moving lightly and quickly. Hmm, a light, a light, lively movement. Ah, oh, a light and lively movement of the feet. Tripping, 
gate or treat. The sound of this. Hmm. So trip is not necessarily a uh, short travel. It is just a movement, quick, light movement. Okay. Uh, 1747, Forbes, Lyon in morning, morning. Some used to take a dance in the cabin. They could not prevail with her to take a trip. Hmm. Okay. Scott, 1814. He sometimes could distinctly hear the trip of a light female step. Hmm. Trip. 1871. Uh... Teller, Faust, uh, here. How each his legs in nimble trip, lift up and makes a clearance. Okay. Be a kind of step in dancing. Hmm. Another quick step must be. Uh, Johnson, 1599. Both are swim and the trip are properly mine. Uh, your body will affirm it that has any huge uh, judgment in dancing okay judgment in dancing hmm so judgment j wasn't in there before you know 1599 okay see here a step towards accomplishing something hmm so it's going forward, I guess. Uh, Bunyan, Holy War. The king takes them in the very neat and the first and uh, first trip with two p that they made towards their design convicts them of the treason. Hmm. Uh, second here um, in the trip of a minute, in the movement or passage of a minute. In a minute's space, so that's a short movement. You know, it's uh, this is a limited or defined by time. You know, just a minute, and in the movement or passage of a minute. So it must be, if that movement moves towards somewhere, then its distance must be pretty short because you can only move in a minute. So again, it's light movement. Same routine here. Uh, let's see. 1728. They will whip it, whip it up in the trip of a minute. Hmm. That means soon, right? Trip of a minute. In the trip of a minute. Okay. 1899. Uh, Mr. Zengwills. Mr. Zengwills has caught, uh, Zengwills prologue has caught the trip of the old-fashioned prologue. Hmm. It's caught the trip of the old-fashioned prologue. Okay. Hmm. So old-fashioned prologue and Mr. Zangwell's prologue got the space in the old-fashioned prologue, I guess. Hmm. You know, like earning a spot or something. Okay, third, a short voyage or journey. Yes, this is a trip we've been looking for. A run, apparently originally a sailor's term, hmm, but very soon extended to a journey on land. Interesting. So this is the trip came from a short voyage or journey that is terminology used by seamen. Hmm? You know, like sailors. A short voyage or run of a ship between two points. Hmm, so two points. Ship going there, you know, coming back from here. You know, that's a short trip. That's why the trip came from. Okay, yes. that's where. Uh, where was I? Okay, between the two points, or to a point and back again. Like I said, okay, each of a series is a series of short runs made by ship, made by a ship or boat. Hence, also a short voyage. In a ship. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 
vessel pronounced okay. A vessel not to be fit for her being adventured to sea for more than a small trip. Hmm, with 2p again. So back in the days, it was 2p. So 2p's. So T R I P P. Being adventure to see. Okay, so that vessel will not fit for actual big adventure to see, but it's more like a you know short coming and going trip. So it must be a very small vessel, I guess, right? Like a boat. Okay, and Buckley and Cummins, 1743. See this after three or four trips returned and anchored where we came from. Mm. So it's like a taxi cab, right? Coming all in a very uh, you know short distance. Okay. Uh, for the, we were okay, 1773 life. Uh, we were on voyage to Danzig and Hamburg, okay, Danzig and Hamburg, another to Copenhagen and Stockholm. During all these trips, my Polly and I wrote to each other. Hmm. Okay, killed you. That was a small fly, and I just killed it. And it felt great. It feels good. Okay, well, that small fly that I just killed, he or she had a small trip on the oldest paper here. Mm. Okay, now we'll see here. Uh, 1867, Smith. An outward bound passage or short voyage. Yes, particularly in the coasting trade. Aha, uh -huh. coasting trade. So it must be like a in a coast there's a you know there's a dock let's just say and there's a big ship like a trading ship and probably they're gonna use a small boat to come and go from from the dock you know the coast to the big ship so that small boat is moving between you know moves between this land side and the big ship trading ship so that movement must be trip, right? Okay, a short journey or run on land. Yes, each of a series of journeys or runs over a particular route. Hmm, okay. Let's see something new here. 1901, Daily News. These two men work on eight trip shifts, each trip consisting of an eastward and westward journey hmm okay so that's a not necessarily a night shift but eight trip shifts okay so eastward and westward so that's a job it's like a regular movers job or something i guess okay 1906 the 1906 the bus driver is paid by trip and anxious to get his trips done this is interesting another tripper get out of there okay bus driver so bus was ex i mean bus was there bus existed back in 1906 okay what kind of bus we're talking i mean it's uh it's very interesting well you know what we're gonna we're gonna find out what kind of bus we're talking about and when was the bus available back in the days, okay? So this is the time we decide the next word. Next word must be bus. Okay, see, a short journey for pleasure or health, an excursion. More fully pleasure trip, okay. Okay, pleasure trip, okay. In later use often apply to such a journey, whatever its length. Mm. So it's more, you know, like not adventurous, just a pleasure. Okay, short. Also applied to a passage by rail, provided at a fare lower than the usual. Hmm. It's like a, you know, like a bargain, 
you know, ticket sales for in a rail or something like that. The short distance must be, or you know, not going too far. That's kind of, you know, that's a trip. Okay, a chip trip. Hmm, an excursion, occas, uh, occasionally. Short for party of trippers or trip train. Hmm, okay. So entertaining, pleasure, short, trip. It is not easy to fix its first use. Okay. 1749, Lady Luxembourg. If you would take a trip to this little retreat at this melancholy season. Hmm. Okay. Melancholy season, you better have a trip. Nice. Uh, let's see. 1880. Here. On inquiring what it all means, he is told that a trip is in from some large manufacturing town and his piece is gone. Hmm. Okay. The trip is in. People coming from uh, some large manufacturing town, so his piece is gone. Okay. Uh, times, 80 to 1884. Four weekly edition here they hurry off on flying trips to Kerry or Connemara okay there are a lot of small flies around me I will, I will I will I will kill them all and stop their pleasure trip with no permits by me okay okay another one I don't understand these small flies. Some of them, or most of them, they try to like a uh, land on my eyes. You know, they just come in, come right through, right into my face. I mean, what's wrong with them? Or do my face smell better? Do you see there? Here. There you go. Where was it? Oh, here. You see? Killed another one. No free trip. And no trip over the oldest and the greatest dictionary of mankind. Never, ever without permission. And I will never permit any flies fly or having a short trip over my dictionary. Okay, uh, let's look into something. Interesting here. Each run or voyage of a fishing vessel. Also, in U.S., the catch or take of take of fish during a single run. The proceeds of a trip in fish. Hmm. So it's not really a big vessel catches a lot of fish, but just a small one time only, or like a boat fishing kind of thing. That's trip. I see that. So, okay, and a stroke or catch by which the wrestler supplants his antagonist. <laughs> really, a sudden catching of a person's foot with one's own so as to cause him to lose his balance and stumble or fall. Well, tripping the leg, you know, uh, okay. So again, it's a it's a small, quick movement of feet, you know, and techniques in wrestlers too. You can see that it's, it's funny. Okay, Let's see something else. Trip? Uh, nope. Okay, military here. A contrivance of uh, contrivance for tripping an enemy. Hmm. So eighteen eighty uh, eighteen sixty two. Trip for checking infantry and cavalry formed by laying the bands singly on the ground three or four feet apart, edgewise and buttoned. Okay. A mistake, blunder, a fault, a slip, lapse, a false step, a slip of the tongue. Okay. So to take or have in a trip. Also, to take trip, 
to catch tripping to detect an error hmm so again it's not so trip as a voyage of a uh, sailor is a short thing it's not a full travel full you know navigating something basically this is a um, short thing and that definition actually led to the meaning of mistake or fault or slip okay so 1628 milton and maddest imperfect words with childish trips again two p's half unpronounced slide through my infant infant lips mm. so he misspoke uh, i mean you know made a mistake by speaking something right it's another trip uh, okay mechanical words here contrivance that trips oh, a projecting part projecting part of some mechanism which comes into monetary a uh, momentary contact with another part so as to cause or check some movement interesting so trip in a mechanical sense i mean in part is a some part that actually check or to check or cause something some movement but only momentarily you know by contacting momentarily that's trip so again, it's, it's, got, it's got to be short. Okay, here, 1906. To protect trains in foggy weather when the arms and lights of signals are obscured, the automatic train stop has been installed. A little arm is raised to a vertical position and strikes a trip on the front motor car of the passing train. By this operation, current is motor car of the passing train. By this operation, current is cut off. Okay. Okay, okay. So I misread here. Okay, again, this, by this operation, current is cut off. This current means current of the steam i guess because it's 1906 and we don't have an electricity train i guess right so in the foggy weather there's a hmm, there's a some some device to to automatic train stop uh because you know you don't know what what's going to happen in front because it's super foggy and the little arm raised to a vertical position and strikes a trip on the front motor car by a passing train. Mm. Oh, the passing train. Okay. So, so this little arm uh, is a device and strikes a trip. Mm. So this trip some kind of a technical term in this case right all right and daily chronicle 1907 in dismounting the pedal is again held against the trip and by it the rider swings himself comfortably out of the saddle to drop his foot as the cycle is still moving along hmm dismounting pedal is again held against the trip. Hmm. Okay. So it's a. It's like a cruise control or something like a. You lift your foot off the pedal, but the cycle still moving along. And to cause that, the rider trip. Hmm. All right. Uh, it's way too long. I don't want to read. Here. Uh, another trip. What? What is this? 
this is a very different de definition here a, a trip a troop or company of men really hmm this is rare and wow that's a uh, 1330 so it's a uh, it's just not English, it's really old English, I guess. Can't read it. Uh, Lindsay, 1578. Think not it will be an trip of men or weir of Franks that will conquest this realm. Okay. A small flock of goats, sheep, hares, whatever. Um, this is all so very old. Let me find something more modern here. 1674 Ray, a trip of sheep. Few sheep. Okay. No, they are generally owners of trips or small flocks of sheep. Uh, the pastured upon Exmoor. Hmm. A small flock of wild fowl. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Daily news, 1893. Wild ducks are seen hurrying across the lawn with large trips of young ones. Hmm. So that's a group. Hmm. Group of animals. Technic. I mean, precisely, group of young ducks. Uh. Trip. 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 Derivation uncertain. A piece of rind of cheese. Really? Seriously? But that's 1386. Can't read it though. Uh, 1823. More. Is that a cream cheese? Okay. No, it is only a trip. What? So that's a rind of cheese. What? So are we talking about the cheese? The trip is cheese? Okay, 1825. A small cheese made in summer to be eaten in its soft and curdy state. It's like a cream cheese. Or it soon becomes dry, tough, and uneatable. Wow, really? So that's a summer cheese that's very soft and, you know, like a curdy, like a custard kind of feel i guess but it's not cream cheese trip cheese ah so that cheese is being made during the summer and it should be eaten quick you know or it goes bad and uneatable so it's a short uh, seasonal special cheese so it's a trip cheese i see here, Rainbird, 1849, here, Trip, differs from cream cheeses as having no cream in and being thicker. Ah, I can see that. Quick cheese, trip, trip cheese. Hmm, all right, we actually found cheese during this quick trip to find the definition or usage of the word trip. I think it was very nice dictionary trip and word of trip. And I hope this episode of Saja Meeting to be a very nice trip before you could sleep. Have a great night.